talking about a quick and easy taco. We're talking about chicken bacon ranch tacos. We got a couple secrets on this one. If you guys wanna see how we make this, here we go. Alrighty, quickly, let's get started. So the idea is the chicken bacon ranch. Well, what better way to make a ranch than something like semi-homemade, right? So you guys know that we have rocking a seasoning lately. It's in the testa phase. Uh, we're not gonna release the name yet or the idea, but let's just say you could be using it as a dip as well. So we have a little bit of uh, Greek yogurt here. And quickly enough, we're gonna add some uh, mayonnaise, some sour cream. We're gonna start off with one tablespoon of this seasoning. We like horseradish in our ranch, although we're gonna be adding a little bit spicy later. I still like to go with it. So let's start off with a half tablespoon. We can adjust that if we need to. Let's give this a mix. Of course we're doing this now because obviously when you make it, you want the flavors to be able to set up and really incorporate and all that. So if you can make it a few hours ahead of time, even the night before, better for you. We're throwing in a little vinegar and a little spice, so a little jalapeno juice. So let's try two of them to start with. You'll be amazed how much flavor this adds to it. All right, in the refrigerator, this goes, and we can get started with the bacon and the chicken. All right, you can't have chicken bacon ranch without the bacon. So to save you the agonizing pain of watching me add bacon to the griddle. Next up, obviously the chicken. I'm going with boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You guys can do whatever you want to with chicken breast. I like them because you can get away with a lot with chicken thighs. A lot of fat inside of them. Uh, you're not necessarily worried about overcooking as much as you would on a breast. I'm just taking a knife and simply just find the high spots, kind of cutting those back so we can cook these uniformly. Just mirroring those flavors, bacon's cooked along nicely. You can use shake that, you can use your favorite all-purpose seasoning. Take your new salt and pepper if you want to, or just go neck, it doesn't really matter to me. But what is important is you find a season that you like and you season your chicken with it. All right, just cleaning my griddle, getting all that fond of the bacon off. I'm gonna keep that bacon grease up there. I've got an idea in the back of my head. Doesn't, do not know if it's gonna work, but you don't know unless you try. So uh, the whole griddle's on a low. Now I'll crank this side up to a medium. That should be about, I don't know, 425 to 450. Dry it off pretty well. I don't want it swimming in grease. I wanna just kind of get like a char on this chicken. And we got some beautiful color underneath it. Just simply flip. And then we're gonna cook these to roughly 165 degrees. All right, you know by now that we always agree that we need to save our bacon grease somehow, some way. So this is a great way to do it. So this is the idea I came up with earlier and I was like, let's just try it out. We kept all that bacon grease down pulled on the right side. Now we're gonna fry our tortillas to make them crispy. Kind of like the idea of a soft and fried at the same time to make our chicken bacon ranch tacos. So I don't want the inside to be greasy, so I'm gonna lightly lay it on that bacon grease. And then, as that's doing its thing, we're gonna move it to our dry side and allow that grease from the bacon to start frying our tortilla. Look at that, that is flavor mm. packed. Yeah, look at this color on the bottom real quick while I work through these. Look at that color mm. on the bottom. Just adding that little extra layer of flavor and texture, which is what food is all about. Oh yeah, that last one on there. 
And then we're gonna take your traditional taco holder and we're gonna use that to form it. And it doesn't really matter if you go this way or the other way. Woo! Just so you know, they're hot. All right, we've allowed our chicken to rest. Very important how you cut your chicken. It's not gonna matter, guys. But I love those little brown bits. So we're just gonna slice it kind of like the idea of what you see. Bite size, but yet little bit of a uh, oomph to them. Just eyeballing it with a bacon, no rhyme or reason. Maybe about four pieces per, I mean a uh, one piece per taco. <laughs> so I've got four of them done. All right, we got that house-made ranch ready to go. Obviously, you can use the ranch as dipping. You don't have to overload these. You can add your lettuce and tomato if you want to. I'm just keeping it simple. All right, I don't know about you, but I know one thing. Those tortillas look fantastic. Deep frying that bacon fat just adds a little bit more flavor. We're always looking for more flavor. You've already got it on the griddle. You might as well just use it. Uh, secondly, the addition of that um, ranch style dressing. I think you really wanna pop through and taste it on the side and taste it for like weeks and weeks and weeks now. So should be good to go. Definitely different options available if needed. You guys can kind of like play with it, make it your own. I'm not afraid to add just a little bit more on there. Mm. Don't no, no, don't look at oh, it. Oh, oh, you're oh, feeding me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm horrible husband for not giving you the first bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love how we mm. took low carb tortillas and then fried them in bacon fat. <laughs> mm. Don't give away all our secrets. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, you just took mine. Mm-hmm. Do we start on another one? <laughs> oh, good. There Classic. Go. Simple. You can't overstate how easy it is. Start to finish doesn't take long at all. Mmm. Mmm. Feed for yourself. <laughs> no, you'll feed me. Cereal. 